Hey guys, Buffy Denani here, coming to you with another NECA toy review. This time we're looking at series nine, uh, series eight of Predators. Wow, I said series nine earlier in another video, but yeah, this is a new articulated jungle hunter predator by NECA Toys. As you can see, it's got the new packaging. Over here, you can tell it says 25th anniversary. It's got a nice jungle motif to the packaging. It's really nice. Age of 17 and up, so I am eligible to open up this package. And you see that figure right there. It's really neat. Sorry for a shaky cam. Over here in the oh wow, it has like getting open my figures up. Over here in the back, you get the picture of the predatorial there, 25th anniversary, jungle hunter predator. And then let's read the little description here. Deep in the Central American jungle, the predator is hunting humans for sport. Armed with his plasma caster, wrist blades, and cloaking technology, the predator methodically stalks and kills the opponents he deems worthy. The jungle hunter predator collects the skulls and spines of his victims as trophies and skins his prey, leaving the bodies hanging from the trees. When a special forces team is dispatched on a rescue mission, they still become the predator's prey. By Naked Toys. So yeah, I already reviewed and have Jungle Extra, uh, Jungle Patrol Dutch, and now I just got these two. So super cool. Cannot wait. Over here, you'll notice in the packaging has a Predator's face here and the mask. It's neat. I like the new packaging. So yeah, let's open this bad boy up and see how cool. All right. It is. So here we have the Jungle Hunter Predator. Opened up and out of the packaging. And I'm having a little issues with the legs because I keep trying to pose it. And when I try to pose it, it kind of like, yeah, it does that, see? Because it's like the legs are a little loosey-goosey. Not that they're loosey-goosey, uh, loosey but um, the the articulation here on the thighs kind of moves around a bit. Uh, but yeah, this figure is the new articulated version of the original classic Predator that we got in the series two I think of Predators. Um, it was a very essential figure to release you know with the Dutch figures because a lot of people missed out on the original version of this and now that they included new articulation which is you know the legs and um, double jointed knees then this is a much better choice also for those who did miss out on the first one and they always wanted one or they just wanted a newly articulated one so yeah that's the crutch. <laughs> I don't know I'm showing that but let's go over the articulation real quick. Over here you can see he's got the same points on the other ones, um, on the other figure for the arms. He's got one point here in the elbows. This one is a little stiff, so you guys need to be careful with bending this arm because um, in the past I've bent a predator arm and it broke. But that wasn't my fault. So from way right here. So yeah, the one point here in the, in the elbow. He's got a ball joint on the arm. Sorry, whoa. Focus, camera, focus. He's got a ball joint here in the hand. Go on 360. And go forward and back. He's got waist articulation here. It just goes around on the side. He's got the backpack. The cool backpack that it comes with. It's really nice and shiny. And then he's got the skull necklaces of course that he is traditional for wearing that and the spines and the little small well hold on I think got a little entrapped in here and the uh, tiny skulls here on the chest really neat same here with the hand ball joint to hand one point in the elbow the the blades, you know, still the wrist blades still go out and retract back inside. Pretty simple. Arms go in and out, forward and back. Same with this one, but be careful due to the little piping here. <clears throat> you don't want to break that pipe. Also, here when you bend the arm, you know, be careful with this little tube because the tube can break. And I'm pretty sure nobody wants that. And the head can go around 360, of course. It's got a nice range of movement, also. Can look full up, you can look down, side to side, 360 of course. Really nice. I like the painting on this, uh, on this predator's head. 
you can see the gold right there in the in the dreads see some nice battle damage here on the mask well not battle damage but like a little kind of some scars and then you see the, the metallic is you see the red shiny dots for his uh, laser pointers and you see the mask is going to put on top of his face it's really nice really detailed now let's look at the other one whereas come share the difference. Ah, oh, we'll continue on in here. Legs can go in and out, forward and back on the T joint. He's got also two points in the knee. You can see right here, two points in the knee. Just gotta be careful with that. And then of course, ball joint on the feet also. And he's got ankle pivot. Really neat. Let's put him down here. Hopefully, he doesn't fall. Could have been doing that lately. And so yeah, here's the other one comparing to this one. Now, uh, that's just getting in the way of my arm moving. Okay, masks are a different color. This one, this one right here, it's a little bit more silvery colored. This one over here, it's a little more bronze colored ish. As you can see, the detailing on the mask is a little bit different as well. On the head here, the oh, it's zooming in on that. You see here, the the little mark is on top of the head. On here, and then on the other one, the positioning is a little bit more to the left, and then on the masks. I don't know if you can tell here, but he's got the little thing above the eye. Oh wow, this guy doesn't stand right. Okay, he's got the that mark against the eye. Let's see if I can focus it better. You see the mark? It's right there. All right, it's like slightly more to the left of the of where that eye is, and on this one. It's more to the center. I mean, no, no big deal. But I'm just pointing some small things out to you guys, in case you didn't notice. Also, now that we have articulation in the legs and the thighs of the predator, they decided not to sculpt this on the figure. As you can tell, here the original one, the, the, the little vest was sculpted on him, and now it is actually a separate piece which was uh, which is what I was playing with in the beginning see the cloth is a separate piece from the figure as opposed to the original which was molded onto him very cool I think that's like major improvements of course and then nothing really much changed with the uh, with the laser pack but I believe he is a little slightly taller than the original Predator. Most likely due to the new articulation. Because I do sense that he's a bit taller. So you can tell here they're back to back. He's like slightly a little bit taller. But that's mm, probably because of the the double double jointed knees. Mm, yeah, it could be that. Because other than that, you know, there's Another way it could be taller, have grown taller. Also, the the color, the, the paint here on the wrist blades, different colors, different color schemes. This one a little bit silver, this one's still more bronze. On the arms here, also silver, more bronze. So yeah, not much has changed, but if you know I were to pick one, I'd go with the newly articulated. Uh, predator figure because you can you know put it in more new poses and he can you know well, he can't really stand that well I guess due to the shaky legs but it can be put in new poses it can be you know probably even more stable and you know because of the double jointed knees it's actually a little bit taller than the original predator so it you know match up well against the duchess <laughs> the duchess I mean the Dutch figures 
Let me just bring in the Dutch figure scene here without having to cut the scene. And you see, it is slightly bigger than Dutch. Which is how it's supposed to be because, you know, the Predator was always the taller one. The taller persona in the movie. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Like this video if you enjoyed it, if you thought it was helpful. Uh, if you're a big Predator fan, you should definitely pick these guys up. Um, at my local comic book shop, they are 20 bucks. But if you're lucky to find them at Toys R Us, which might be impossible because Toys R Us sucks at, you know, stocking their... Uh, their shelves because you know, they always get figures really 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 late so that's why I have to resort to going to the Tate's comic book shop so yeah at Toys R Us if you do find them there they're $17.99 each but at the local comic book shop they should be $20.99 so for like $2 more 2 or $3 more you can get these figures at your local comic book shop and it's a little bit pricier, but you get them faster and you can actually enjoy them instead of having to wait like a long, long time for Toys R Us to finally have them on the shelves. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, again, subscribe if you guys already haven't. This is uh, mostly NECA reviews, but I'm doing other stuff as well. Gameplay videos now. I'm, in, um, I'm also doing Hot Toy reviews now. Every now and then I pick up the, you know, the, the usual Marvel Select or... I have a toy, Mattel toy. Oh, man, yeah, really looking forward to the Man of Steel figures. Okay, now I'm rambling again. <laughs> so, thanks again for watching, guys, and see you next time.